We're going to talk about animation. Now animation in Adobe Fresco is one of the best features. I've got my second frame here. If I were to just draw something like the yo-yo coming up this way and then add another frame and have the yo-yo coming up this way and another one, okay, etc. I'm going to hit play all. Now you'll see I didn't take the man and have him appear on all the frames. What I do have moving is that little circle that I drew. Now that you understand how that works, let's go back to those options here and you'll see duplicate frame. Now here what I can do is simply erase that yo-yo right there and now move it like this. I can duplicate that frame again, I can erase it again, and I can move it like so, so that our animation then is starting to move like this and the guy stays still. Now what I really want to do though is for this animation I want to have his hand move. He's throwing the yo-yo down and then pulling it back up to have that yo-yo come spinning back up. I'll go ahead and I'll delete these frames. You can just tap on any frame and delete it. And now we're going to start with this first frame and what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this hand up, okay, ready to go. For the yo-yo position, I think to myself, if I had a yo-yo in my hand, use your own body to kind of get an idea, a sense of how you would do something. I'm gonna make this a bit bigger. And what I'm just gonna do is animate the hand first, and then I'll come back to those same frames and add the yo-yo. Duplicate this frame, like so. Now remember, because I have onion skinning turned on, I can erase that hand, change it, angle down this away duplicate that frame. If I want to see all the hands from before, remember I can go to my onion skin and just increase the number of frames here. Now I can see the before state from two frames back, which is always a nice thing to be able to see. And now I have a sort of a back and forth thing because so I want to do some line art over this. And so because I have this sketch layer right here, I can take the whole layer, I can transform it, I can transform all of the content, tap on transform, look it gives me choices. Do I want to transform the frame or the entire layer? That means all the frames I have of animation that are here. All the frames I can say transform. I can also take this layer right here and go to my layer properties and reduce the opacity because after all this is a sketch and I want to draw on top of this. I'm going to make a new layer and you'll notice that my motion panel stays there on the screen and now what I'm going to do is some line art. Now what do I want to draw with? People just keep it like super simple and use the basic pen in the sketching category. I'm going to not draw the hand because I want to use a separate layer for that. Leave the body and all these other parts that are going to remain static. They're not going to move. I'm going to just animate the hand and the yo-yo. Add another layer. Add a layer. Now remember, onion skinning is turned on. I can see it all the way through on all my layers, which is awesome. We look and see how many total frames do I have for the sketch, right? Well, if you really want to know that and you don't want to go to the sketch layer and figure all that out, that's what you do, gang. Go to settings, turn on document timeline. Kablam. Now, once you do this, I know that there's going to be an overlap issue right there. My timing is not right yet, but that's okay. We knew that from the beginning because of our sketch. This is going to duplicate until the moment when it pops back up again. So let's go back to our yo-yo layer here and let's see what happens when I duplicate it again. Ah, this is that tiny little moment where the hand pops back up again to bring that yo-yo up. So we have one more transformation to do. It's just right there. It's the tiniest little movement. And now things are gonna be traveling back upwards. Now notice that the hand, okay, is already kind of in the right position. I could leave that hand there and then let the yo-yo travel back up. Duplicate. Here, I need to make sure to have the different hand position here. Travel back to your first frame, duplicate, and remember, long tap and drag all the way to the end. Okay, now I've got the hand in the right position for that upwards jog, and I'm going to leave it there. Duplicate, 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 and duplicate. Okay, now the thing to do is move the yo-yo back up. Go back to the yo-yo. We go to the seventh frame, the eighth frame, and now I know that I can duplicate it and I follow my sketch. So we transform. Remember how it jumps up right to there? And that felt really good when we were looking at the sketch. So we're going to keep exactly the same timing. Not going to make any changes here. And then again, duplicate and transform. Now let's look at the action. Ba-bum, ba-bum, ciao for now.